Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Law and Order Legacies. So, we're at 100%. We're going for Murder 2, Maximum Sentence, and I think we'll probably get it if, as long as we're careful here. I know, Jack. The swings I, I know. are very the boys, wide. Got no other options. Then get the boys' testimony back in. Defense suppress the audio lineup. Then unsuppress it. How do you unsuppress well, it? Mr. Cutter, Miss Carmichael, why don't you tell us what's on your mind? Why don't you Honor, just put the boy the on the stand and ask him? Tampered by the exclusion of Henry Jackson's testimony. He was an eyewitness, an ear witness, in fact, to this murder. Your Honor, this idea is based on voodoo science and old wives' tales. Mm. It's based on hard science, Your Honor. Save the rhetoric for the trial. I've read your briefs. Let's hear your arguments. Let's mm. examine Henry's enhanced auditory ability. Your Honor, enhanced auditory perception on behalf of the blind is based on anecdotes and assumption. No studies have confirmed this ability. Is the defense attorney stretching the truth? According to this, yes, it is. Everyone knows this is true. A study by the Neurological Center of Columbia University confirms it's true. University of Wisconsin at Oshkosh confirms it's true. This is the one. Your Honor, no less an authority than the Neurological Center at Columbia University has confirmed it. Yes, I saw the data. It is impressive. A similar study conducted on men and women rendered blind as teenagers found almost no difference in auditory perception between them and test subjects who can see. The blind can't hear any better than the rest of us. Can you prove he's mistaken? It doesn't matter. Hmm. John Hopkins University Returner tries to put studies done out of Columbia out of spite. Hmm. Hmm. So there were very specific added in lines of dialogue Your Honor, the study that we're Mr. using. Antonio cites is flawed. Columbia researchers found enhanced auditory perception in people blind since birth, exactly like Henry Jackson. Listening mm. to a bunch of computerized sound files on a laptop is not the same thing as hearing my client in person. It was probably a terrible quality file. There was no consideration for the actual location. Who knows what Henry That's a terrible argument to make. Can we prove him wrong? Yes. He should be making the exact opposite argument, that listening to the sound files, files that have been tampered with changed the acoustics. Your Honor, a police technician will testify that great care went into the preparation of None the None of this really files. seems like they there's any reason to not to bring this in and let the jury and decide. The, of the speaker from Henry Jackson. The sound files presented were very authentic. You're welcome to review them yourself, Your Honor. All right, I've heard enough. You did your homework, Miss Carmichael. The court is satisfied that the audio lineup serves as reliable evidence. Henry Jackson is back in. Hmm. This is a very odd way just to introduce the son who is the the son of the victim. Hey, Henry. Olivia! You recognize me? Sure. I'd know your voice anywhere. You know, you don't have Still to do getting that want to, Henry. girlish to. voice. Henry. Abby's nice, but that other lawyer doesn't want people to believe your story. He may be kind of mean to you. I'm not scared of no lawyer. Ready? Hmm. Good luck, Henry. I'll be watching. I'm half expecting there to be a Henry, daredevil reference, when but the, I guess the there wouldn't be. I heard some boys yelling, fighting. Mama, she tried to get us into the store, but... Shouldn't then say the boys. Started. Boys or men would be my first question. Were they boys or were they men? But whatever. Did you hear a door chime? Before the shooting, tell us what you heard, Henry. I heard a car door open. The keys were still in the, uh, what do you call it? Ignition. Is that true? 
Yes. The car was a... 1968 Dodge Charger, 2012 Dodge Charger, 2011 Dodge Charger. We need to go way back to the interview with Henry. Uh, but not even this one, the one before this, to get the year. I think it's 2011, but I don't want to make a mistake here. Dodge Chargers. Wow. I don't think he said the year. So it must have been in the Scott Leonard conversation that we were told. Hmm. Seriously? Oh, the, there's there's some kind of math here that I'm not willing to go through. I'm going to bet bet the money on 2011 Dodge Charger. But like there must have been some math Could you recognize what as far as what was? year it was. Yeah, it was a Dodge Charger, 2011. Hmm. Does he know for sure? Hmm. Not really. But I think I'm supposed to click yes, so I'm gonna click yes anyways. He doesn't know it's a 2011. In fact, I don't know it's a 2011. The game never said 2011. The ignition made a unique noise. He doesn't know for sure, he, but he's bluffing to help you. Don't blow this. He remembers the unique door chime from helping a fix fix another 2011 charger. Hmm. Mother's plea. So, at some point, your mother said, No, no, there's no call for that. Is that correct? Yeah. Who was she talking to, in your opinion? Mr. Leonard? Can the boy's opinion be backed up by facts? I don't think so, but I, I bet they want me to click yes. I'm gonna just click no though. And how many points do I lose there? 20. And see, I don't know why you'd really lose any points towards the jury's perception. This system is actually completely unconnected. Like, as far as the jury is hearing, the interviewer, the pro the prosecuting attorney, is just not giving out any evidence. But the way this is animated and written, it's not like the prosecutor is ever handing in any evidence to back up claims. If this was a real court case, I, it would make sense where you would ask a question and they would say, yes, that's true. And then they'd say, let me enter exhibit A, evidence that confirms what he just said. But none of that is showing up in this dialogue. It's all been edited out. And so it's just this game interface that's giving us score and changing the jury's opinion based on no actual actions that are happening in the game. So, Mr. Leonard said Nina. In fact, they haven't entered a single else? piece of evidence. No, no he didn't. No warnings to the gang. Hmm. No shouting like he was trying to defend himself. Just hmm. that word, Nina. That's it. I'll never forget his voice. Interesting. Can we verify the boy's statement? I'm gonna go with yes. We can. I don't know how. Hmm. 
Let's go with the audio recording choice. Hmm. People's Exhibit G. An We've audio lineup one star. conducted under strict conditions where Henry Jackson identifies Scott Leonard's voice as the one he heard when his mother was shot. Exhibit G. What is A through F? We're back up to 100. We want murder to maximum sentence if they offer a plea. Henry, let me first say that I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Hmm. Henry, you've been completely blind since birth. If I was this Correct? defense lawyer, That's I would right. say don't so say a single word with this boy in the room. Uh, what I like to objection. objection. Asked and answered. Asked and answered. Sustained. My apologies. Were you scared, Henry? Yeah. What about your mother? Was she scared? Objection. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. This is pure speculation, Your Honor. Sustained. Let me rephrase. Did your mother seem scared to you? Yeah, she didn't want me to know, but I could tell because of how her voice changed. Why were you scared, mm. Henry? Because of the gangbangers. They're always fighting, shooting each other. Of course. I'd be scared, too. Now, if you were scared, and your mother was scared, wouldn't it stand to reason that Scott would be scared, too? Objection. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation again. Speculation. Sustained. Withdrawn. Henry, and I keep doing all this. That your mother pleaded, Even saying, though I'm already at no, 100. No, there's no call for that. How can you be so sure she was talking to Scott? She said it to him after he got out of the charger. She was looking at him when she said it. Looking at him? How do you... Couldn't she have been looking at the gang members? Or looking towards the store? She was trying to drag you inside for your own protection. I suppose. But that's not what happened. Is it possible she saw Scott draw his gun in self-defense and misunderstood what was happening? I don't know, mister. Is it possible your mother, fearing for your safety, thought Scott meant you harm? When in fact all he wanted was to defend himself against those gang members. I'm sure what I heard. That's not how it happened. How can you be so sure? The fact is, we'll never know what she was thinking those last few moments of her hmm. life. Yeah, because I've Mr. Had Leonard killed her. Scott was trying to save this. her life. He might very well have saved yours. The, like, <laughs> I could have probably objected five times there. Objection, Your Honor. Hmm. This is badgering or speculation. Actually, there's another one I should be using called leading. Again, he's just speculating. Speculation overruled. No further questions. Darn it. And Mr. Jackson, again, sorry for your loss. Now I'm down to 80, but I guess it doesn't seem like it matters if you're plus 10 you win if you're plus 80 uh plus 100 well, you win. Mike, I'm here to deal but the price has gone up shocking what's the offer three years of probation and community service in return for a guilty plea to charges of reckless homicide and you drop the felony gun charges oh how about we give him a medal too hmm so I clearly have to do no deal because murder two is not even an option. Let's see. Reckless homicide, 10 years minimum sentence, felony guard, 10 years minimum security, uh, maximum security. If you're in prison, minimum security or maximum security, I mean, there probably is a slight difference there, but it's not what you're play gonna plea for, honestly. I think you would more plea for less time. No deal. We're seeing this one all the way through. Hmm. Mr. Leonard, why don't you tell the jury we what think happened he on the night of April 12th? This was premeditated. I regret those events. I regret them deeply. But they didn't happen the way Mr. Cutter says they did. Not at all. Explain hmm. for us. Would you like to object? To what? No. I never meant to shoot poor Miss Jackson. I was scared for my life. Scared the gangbangers mm. were coming again. Coming for me. Why would you fear that? Because they killed my fiance. And you knew they would come for you mm. eventually. 
Yes, I knew they would. That's how these animals work. Well, I like to object. Objection. On Your general Honor. grounds. Speculation. Hearsay. Badgering. Speculation. The witness can't know what his enemies, real or imagined, intended for him. Sustain. Hmm. Tell us exactly what happened. I just went to the busy mart for some wine. Now, I brought my gun for protection, you see. I was walking back to my car when I saw Sims and the other guys yelling at each other. I was almost to my car when I seen Sims look at me. I thought he recognized me. Hmm, well, I like to object. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay withdrawn. Badgering. Honestly. I'm gonna withdraw this because none of these objections match. He said the wrong thing, but uh, he's not really speculating, nor is he saying hearsay or badgering. Withdrawn. Then I seen him raise his gun. I was trapped, too far away to get to my car, so I drew my weapon. So he's it was totally him. lying on the I stand. I told him back off, Sims, but he didn't. And knowing what they did to my Nina, I, I fired. That's why I said her name. I never ever meant to hurt anyone, especially not Miss Jackson. It was only in self-defense. I deeply regret it. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. None of this matters. He pulled out a gun, he pulled the trigger, intending to do great harm or kill. Whether he killed his intended victim or a bystander doesn't matter. Something's not right here. He's making out like it was a coincidence he was there that day, but it's not. Your witness, Mr. Cutter. Excuse us just one moment, Your Honor. He planned this. I can feel it. I know, yeah. but how do we break him? If we can Nina, get him to confess him to, talk about Nina. Draw to planning it, we can get him on murder one instead of murder two. Which is really what it was going for. I've got a receipt here from the market on the day of the shooting. You bought four bottles of Mad Scotsman. Four bottles? What were you doing? Getting your courage up? No. So, why? No reason. I, I was just sad. Is Mad Scotsman sad a what? wine? About Nina. I think it's a whiskey or something. What about Nina exactly? That day reminds me of Nina. Why? It was near to a year the day she died. Near to? Or... I can't remember. Really? I don't keep nothing around that reminds me of it. Is he lying? Yes. The newspaper clipping? Mr. Leonard, the police recovered a newspaper clipping from your garage. It was an article about the carjacking, about the day Nina died. You should get the exact date. Was it for... Four weeks ago? What was the exact date of the carjacking, of Nina's death? Told you I can't remember. People's Exhibit K, the newspaper clipping. Please read. <sighs> April 12th, 2010. And People's Exhibit L, the receipt. Can you read me the date on this receipt? The day of the shooting? April 12th, 2011. A year to the day. Hmm. Wait a minute. Something is wrong here. Something is very, very wrong here. That means, uh, well, I suppose it's not incredibly crazy, but if the Dodge Charger is a 2011, sure, maybe the 2011 models come out in 2010. That means that Dodge Charger was brand new when he gave it to her and she got carjacked for it like brand brand new and I don't believe that's actually what they're trying to say here I believe simply the writers were so bad and there was such little quality control in this game they have confused that the model of the car was a 2011 and the fact that this crime happened on 2011 uh, and you have to have that internal knowledge that, to know that sometimes cars are sold 
as next year's model. So sometimes you can buy a 2011 in 2010 to even bend the logic to make sense. Did you know Sims had territory near the market? Like, yes. Why were you outside? Why are you going to make just a game about out. paying and attention to facts and then not pay out. attention to the I facts? I really don't think I was there that often. Is he mistaken? Yes. Testimony, he's been there four times a week. Aw, oh, darn it. David Zemsta testified he saw you there four days. It's my neighborhood, Mr. Cutter. I'm allowed to park my car where I please. No, you're not. I happen to like the busy mark. The busy mark. The security guard said he saw you there an hour before the shooting. What's that about? Were you lying in wait for Sims? No. You're there all week. You're there before the shooting. Explain it, Mr. Leonard. I was just there to, to make sure he didn't hurt some innocent bystander. No, you took care of that yourself. Objection. Withdrawn. Hmm. Trapped. The boy testified he heard you. Was he there? Yep, I saw him. You told the court you were trapped, unable to get to your car. Yeah, the car was ten feet away. Door closed and locked. I never would have made it. That's why I drew hmm. my gun. Otherwise, I would have just driven out of there. Does this match previous trust testimony? Nope. If the door is locked and the the car door hmm. the car door wouldn't be chiming and dinging. Henry told us he heard your car door chime. He identified it specifically. Well, hmm. yeah, I mean, right, right. I was mistaken just now. I. I I did leave the door open when I went to the store. That's suspicious like on that. itself. You left the car door open and the keys in the ignition? I I guess I did, Mr. Cutter. So he was trying to trap people into stealing the car. You said you told Sims to back off before you fired. That's right. I gave him fair warning. Did he say that? We can go all the way back to the very beginning of the transcript here. With the clinky buttons. Hmm. And see, male voice says Nina. And there is no... Hmm. No back off. Hmm. How do I know Tarvis Sims said he saw the cops told the cops Scotland waved a gun in his face? Hmm. I think this is the part we'll go with. Henry didn't hear you say anything but one word. Can you guess what that word was? Nina. You weren't there by chance. You were there for revenge. You cased the market for a couple days beforehand, watching. Then on the <laughs> anniversary of Nina's death, you got a little Dutch courage to get you going. Sim showed up. You saw your chance and you took it. Only poor Shard Jackson. Oh, those blurred the faces way. in the background. I didn't mean for that. It's not like you're saying. Is that something I'm that happens sorry, in Law and Order? I, never I don't think it is. I'm sorry. That they no blur the extra faces in the background? Nah, that doesn't happen on the TV show. So we've got is this in the bag. Unanimous verdict? We have, Your Honor. Murder one. Please read the verdict as it stands recorded. In regards to Mr. Scott Leonard as to murder in the oh. second degree, we find the defendant guilty. 
You can't get murder one because we didn't charge him with murder one. Darn Ladies it. and gentlemen of the jury, I want to thank you for serving. Sentencing will take place tomorrow. Until then, the defendant will be remanded into custody. Court is adjourned. I'm sorry, son. I'm so, so sorry. Mama always said turn the other cheek. She was a good woman, Henry. Mm. She wouldn't want you to grow up with anger in your heart. She'd want me to forgive Mr. Leonard, like Jesus does. Guess I'll try. Will you come see me at my new house? I'll try and visit you, Henry. But we gotta get you settled in with your cousins. You need family right now. Um, thanks, Olivia, for being nice and stuff. <laughs> no problem. Good luck, Henry. Bye, Olivia. What's weird is there's this bald guy in the picture uh, when it says good job, counselor. And he Thanks hasn't shown up us, once Vincenzo. at all. We really need to talk to your husband, Frank. You missed him by two weeks. You guys want some dinner? I'm making meatballs. He left town? He left the planet. Dead, my Frankie. What's this? What's this about? Sorry to hear that. More of the What's Mangler case? One of Frankie's jobs finally catch up with him? Did Frank ever own a gun? Sure, in his line of work, a bunch. Listen, I know you guys know what kind of fella he was, and I definitely did, so uh, let's not pussyfoot. He's gone, you can't get him now. What do you want to know? Was Frank involved in a murder around 98? Two kids in the park, both shot, one died. Yeah, he might have mentioned that. He did it for money? Yeah, only that one, he never got paid. Had a falling out with the client. Who? Sorry, that's all I know. Frankie never told me names. So, it was a hit. But no payout. Hmm. So maybe he got screwed. Or maybe he screwed up. At any rate, next question is... Who paid to have Harrison Bedford killed? Bingo. <sighs> They're gonna have to recap scenes like this a lot. Again, skip the credits. Nobody should be proud of this work. Clearly they aren't. The game's not even available for sale anymore. Um, it's almost to the point of like, why, why even bother to continue covering the game? So, what did we do? We got 100% done, 76 of 84. No plea was offered at all. Hmm. There must be a way in the criminal justice system to recharge for murder one. Uh, I guess maybe it's not worth the storytelling to go through all of that, and it may not be worth the prosecutor's time to go for murder one instead of murder two. But, or maybe they do that in the sentencing. So, what I imagine will happen is. Is this 1999? Yep. So this will happen in 1999 and be more reference to the Preppy Jogger case. And then this will eventually, hopefully, recap what we've seen as the short little asides. Like, if this was a TV series, I mean, if each one of these was one episode or two part episodes, you've got more than enough to do a whole season around it. And I kind of wonder if, if this actually did happen on Law & Order one season and we're just replaying something that anybody who actually watched Law & Order already knows what happened. But next time we'll start with this one, the prep school murder. And then we'll try and rush through that and we'll try and rush through this and then we'll be done. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.